What's up guys? Um, today I just want to make a quick uh, video addressing um, one or two things. Just basically getting one or two of my thoughts um, out of the way about the um, Iranian national team. Um, this is going to be quick, but I think it's something that needs to be addressed before things go downhill real quick and real south. Um, so there was a quote that came out yesterday and this is according to obviously on twitter um the golbez and um the golbez and twitter account they said that scotchit said that um i'll take that word for it that's uh, that scotchit said regarding voya rafuri rani rezayan and saeed ezatullahi and why they weren't called up um apparently what dragon scotchit said the manager of iran said that the reason is very simple um i have a standard for selecting players I can say for sure that I know the players better than they do. I choose the players who I think are the best. If he was referring to Saeed Ezzatullahi being one of the main ones, and this is the biggest one for me, then I have a big, big, big problem with this manager already. Um, again, just excuse the lighting in the background, but I have a big problem with this. Um, I would argue that Saeed Ezzatullahi is Iran's best player. I'd argue that because he hasn't had a single bad game for the country at all. And um, every single time he steps on foot for an Iranian national team match, he does well. He steps up. He's a big game player, but he does it every single time. Even players like Mehdi Me Me Atayami and Saad al -Azman, they do have bad games. I thought both of them were quite poor yesterday, even though al -Azman scored. Atayami was quite poor yesterday. He's consistent. He is, for me, the best player in the whole of the Iranian national team. And yet, Dragon Scotches has insisted, if he was referring to him, then this is wrong. Because he is probably... he is. A, everyone knows Saeed Ezzatullahi is one of Iran's best players. That is a fact. I'd say he's our best player. Um, and our most important player. And yet, if he is referring to him, I have a big problem with this. Because it's a clear identification of who your players are, who, who are not. Every single manager, it doesn't matter how many times you change your manager or whatnot. You have a country to manage, you have a pool of players. There are some players, it doesn't matter what your philosophy is, there are some players that you genuinely cannot say no to. Tarami and Tarami and Osman, you can't really say no to. And I'm sorry, Saeed Ezzatullahi is one of them players you genuinely can't, you can't sit there and say no. And he has, apparently. So, if this is the case, then I have a big, big, big problem. Because as a defensive midfielder, he does something quite unique. Um, he's very similar, obviously, I'd say to... He's a bit like a regen of um, Andranik Taimurian, the, the samurai of Iranian football. And um, Saeed Ezzatullah, he is a very, very important player in that team. And um, I don't think we'll qualify for the World Cup if we don't have him in there. And if you, if you think for a second that we're ever going to get to the knockout stages of the World Cup, never mind getting to it, but if you ever think we're going to get to the knockout stages of the World Cup, which we've been craving ever since it began, ever since it began 90 years ago, in 1930, we've been craving this for a very long time to get to the knockout stages, and um, Saeed Ezzatullah is a player that has to be there. And um, if he doesn't feature from now on, like from when the qualifiers start, I don't see any future for this manager. And I know it's one player, but I, I, I think he's just essential. We need a player like him in there. Yesterday, we didn't play with a defensive midfielder because the only real one there was Omid Ebrahimi. And he came off the bench. So it just doesn't really work like that, but whatever. Um, so that's that. Um, as for Rafuri and Ramin Rezayan, um, we are Rafuri, Ramin Rezayan. And many other players like Daniel Esmaili Fav, I'd say, um, as a fan of Estella, um, Sayed Ahmad Musavi has been brilliant for us. Um, and there are one or two other ones. Well, obviously, I know he, he knows as well that our best right back is Sadegh Muharami, and he plays in Dinamo Zagreb in Croatia. I understand he, obviously, I, I think he's injured. I think he's injured. He'll be. It's not a big injury, but he's missed his camp. He'll, he'll definitely be there for the, the one in June. I complete I completely understand that obviously, but um, um, 
you know, right now, you, you have, with the right back we were playing yesterday, I believe. Um, I didn't watch the game. I didn't watch the game, so I don't know even what formation we played, to be honest. But I think it was something on the, uh, along the lines of Shoja Khalil Zadeh. And um, I just don't really think that's the best way going forward. Um, Shoja is a centre-half. He is not a right-back. I understand how Rayana played him there, but you can't occupy right back, which is such a key position in modern day football. The fullback position is just as important as every other one, because nowadays as well you have to have an attacking output down the wing, not just from your wingers, from the ones behind them. And um, it's always been the case that these players have had to be effective in the areas, but it's even more important now in the modern game. And Yamaka um, Nemati. Good, but he's not better than Bafori Rezayan. Um, obviously not better than Mahalami, but that goes without saying. He's not better than Ismaili Fahad. I wouldn't say he's better than Musavi um, as well. And Mekia Tikdali, like, he didn't even come on yesterday. Like, rough. I don't understand how our two right backs are, or three right backs, Shoja Khalil Zadeh, Siamak and Nemati, and what Mekia Tikdali. Who is Mekia Tik, uh, Mekia Tik Dali? Who is he? So, um, that is what I'd say about that. Um, as for in general the national team as much as I've said everything I, I've said there we have to stay rational we do have to stay rational because we have got three wins out of three under this manager and the first one we won by one the second one we won by two the one we just had now we won by three so first Uzbekistan 2-1 okay then we go away to Bosnia we win 2-0 um, that was nice uh, then 3-0 home to Surya I watched the full highlights actually. They had quite a few um quite a few chances actually. They ran did well. I think they hit the bar. I think they nearly hit the post or something like that. So it wasn't even as dominant as I thought it would have been in terms of chances, but Arzman should have scored um another one. Taremi definitely should have scored once or twice. Um we had big chances missed as well. Do I think we'll qualify from the group in June? Yes, because we we're Iran. And at the end of the day, all we have to do realistically out of them games is we have to do the business against Hong Kong and Cambodia for reference we beat Hong Kong 2-0 away uh, when we played them in September of 2019 and um, the month later at home the last time we were at home in the Azadi with fans and that was the last one happened to be with women at the stadium 10,000 to be exact um, I, believe, I believe I'm right in saying that was a 14-0 yeah it was 14-0 against Cambodia that was they even had a penalty in that game, but it was 14-0 against Cambodia. And um, we'll, we'll beat them again. Obviously, all these games are being played in Bahrain in a neutral neutral zone. So Hong Kong and Bahrain, yes, we will beat them. That's a guarantee. I'll tell you that for a fact. Bahrain and Arroch is not the same thing. All we really have to do is beat Bahrain and Arroch and we're in the next, we're in the final round. And from then, we're good, but we have. N I don't believe we've ever gone out at this stage. This shouldn't be an, an exception. We are against it, I guess, because Bahrain are in the top two and they're hosting the group and Arak beat us when they play us as well. But um, we, I still think, honest to God, I still think we're the favourites. I still think we're the favourites to go through because we're Iran. We have the players. We have the most ridiculous depth. The only one that maybe challenges us a little bit is Japan. Other than that, we have the most ridiculous strength and depth. You know, we have six class centre forwards in the form of Saad Al Azmo, Mekia Tayami, Alahi Al Sayyad Manesh, Kaver uh, Ezai, Karim Ansoy uh, Fad, and the, our sixth choice striker is Sajada Shahbaz Zadeh, who's literally breaking records in the Iranian league and in Asian football in general. So um, that's that. That's that. Um, I think we'll go through. I don't, whether we'll win every game, if we do win every game, we go through um, first. If we do win every one of them games, we finish first. Um, if we don't beat Arak and Bahrain, then maybe get four points out of six or win in a draw, then I think we, we there's a good chance we finish second, but we still also could finish first in that. So, um, yeah. That's it. That's all there really is to say. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, but um, my prediction is I think we will go through. But um, you've, just got to, you've got to fix yourself, mate, because um, Saeed Ezatalahi is one of Iran's best players. 
and um, there's a reason why he's excelling in Europe. And uh, Amanda Norelahi and some of the midfields can't really reach that level, can they? And that goes for Ali Karimi as well. Okay? So, um, to, to end it, um, I think we're in decent hands, but I just think Scott just needs to fix a few things. Um, and I was really uh, disappointed yesterday as well with the lack of rotation. I, th I thought, it's a friendly, we were winning all throughout that game. I'm just wondering, can you not bring on some of the other players? Like, can you not bring on, give more time to Sayad Manish maybe, you know. Another player I want to see play a little more is Nurath Khan. I thought Nurath Khan yesterday, when he came on, you saw what he was about. And as a substitute, he could be the key um, if we're struggling. Nurath Khan has a ridiculous energy, brilliant energy indeed. So, um, that's that. That's that. Scott Chich, fix it up. Pick your best team. Don't let the media influence you. And um, other than that, even if you don't listen, or, well, you won't see this video, but even if he doesn't listen to that type of advice, I still think we'll go through. But it's more than this group. It's about the national team as a whole. So we need to fix up over the long term. And um, Saeed Ezatalahi needs to feature. And, um, yeah. That's all I have to say. Because it is a very, very important thing to go on. Um, because I choose the players who I think are the best. You can't say that in response to Ezatalahi. It's just not possible. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.